the greatest apps of all time, man. This is not speaking, speaking of clutter being free. Was that your desktop for a second? I, was that? I don't know if it was. It was. <laughs> man, my desktop is clean. I have nothing to be scared about. <laughs> it's pretty right. clean. We got two clean players. Uh, to strike it off here between uh, Naito and B. So Paul trying to pursue Sharp off stage immediately here. No chance for us. No time for us to. Uh, Bro, why does everyone? Hold on. I am. I am not offended. I am just sad. Everybody has thought I'm Rickles. <laughs> oh no. I wonder if Rickles has all the followers I should have. And everyone was like, yeah, man, that's Rickles on MSM. And I'm like, nah, bro, this is Vance. You mean to tell me y'all been following Rickles this whole time? Follow me. Anyways, let's get back to this match. That's more important. Nice up here from Sharp trying to continue the combo. Oh, Drad, man, did Drad down there on Beast Mode, Paul. Well, I gotta tell you, one of the things that's hardest for Hero is his landings. Like, it's yeah. Just, it's just brutal for the character. It's The character has really ha have a hard time landing and has really, really rough landing options. He kind of has to commit to the ledge. But the other thing as well from that is just he's really slow to land. As, comp yeah. as to his counterpart, that's like Link, where he has can accelerate his landing speed or his fall speed. That's a great opportunity to just go for directional air dodge instead of any of those options. But that's a good call out from Sharp here on the landing. Yeah, that was great patience from Sharp. He just did not let Beast and Paul escape. But of course, when you're coming off Angel Platform, it does give you enough time with iframe to get the fully charged Kafriz right in Sharp's grill. The big back air and Beast Mode Paul's driving the action, forcing Sharp off stage. Nice grab. Oh, we tried to throw uh, um, Hitbox there at ledge. Oh. Ooh, Sharp was looking for a very tricky gimp right there with the guns. Yeah. That is the rare time, too, I ever see Joker jab. <laughs> it's usually forward tilt. <laughs> I'm going to be real with you, man. Great for Sharp to go all the way below the stage. That's a grab coming out from Beast Mode, Paul. I'm surprised he didn't go for up throw, given that percent. Just because that would have been a great DI check on that one, but... Sharp right now is just chasing down Beast Mode, Paul, hunting his prey, and Paul is just trying to fend him off. Crit down smash, even though uh, regular power would have done done them in. Hey, you can see that Paul is just trying to get some degree of distance between himself and Sharp, and Sharp's like, nah, man, I'm just going to chase you down until the ends of the earth. You see, I have a toolkit of options. <laughs> oh, let me do it. Big grab, though, for Beast Mode, Paul. Kafriz, but Sharp was ready for it. Yeah, I I, I agree, Swaggy's, that uh, Hero looks particularly slow against a character like Hero, whose movement stats are so great. The up tilt, not quite going to close out the stock. Paul's done a really good job to keep it close. I'm going to try to swing it Sharp at ledge. Sharp able to get back up on stage, though. Oh, big landing fair. Not quite enough to close it out. Oh, the tech! He teched the tornado. I'm surprised Beast Mode oh, Paul did not go for zoom there, but still try to able to land on that situation. Paul's also at a really low MP, but he doesn't even need his magic using the up tilt to secure the kill. And Paul's actually brought this game back. Oh, with nice grab here. by Paul. Oh! Woo. Okay. That's okay. big damage on Sharp, but that was a very that high roll, though. Galaxy Brain level, big uh, flame slash there, too. And Sharp's in danger of uh, just completely having this game by. Blow by a big dash tech from Paul, too. I can't even keep up with everything Paul's doing right now. That's a big kaboom. That's a big kaboom. Oh. That's incredible. What? That was. What, what a kill screen. <laughs> in beast mode, Paul. Just absolutely menuing his way to a victory, just being like, I'll have this, and then I'll have this, I'll have this, and I'll have it all on the last stock, man. That that com yeah, that kamikaze was worth, dude. That damage he just did to sharpen that one. That was a good trade. <laughs> that was like, brain, man. That was really like, cool, I'm literally about to lose my stock. You're going to take about 60 plus percent oh, if I do this. Oh. Oh, Sharp, this Sharp's like, oh nah, man, we're throwing hands. We're going right back into this one. Yeah, Love this is it. the this is the immediate run back. 
Beast Mode Paul is one of the few players that actually lives up to his name, man. It's, it's insane here. And, of course, he is going to be going up a game, too, against Sharp. Remember, this is winner's finals, ladies and gentlemen. This is for whoever gets top. Whoever loses here is guaranteed top three at worst. But you know you want to be first because that MSM first place and the prize pool as well is always worth having that on your belt. I'm surprised how much uh, work Beast Mode Paul's spot dodge is doing right now. You feel like Sharp would start to try to pull it back a little bit. Right now, I sense a level of tilt within Sharp. Just with the, <laughs> just because of like the situation that happens last game, but it all depends on how Sharp can handle that level of tilt and control, because he can use it all to his benefit here. That's good. Even so, a lot of players have always equated this to be a really weird thing, but even if you go for balance in this thing, oh, that's good for Sharp. Yeah, yeah, that's, no, that's actually yeah, 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 that's good for Sharp. It. Oh, oh, that's brutal. I play hero from time to time, and I've done that, and I'm yeah. far less talented than Paul. So to see, uh, I think the speed of the game is just starting to bypass Paul a little bit. You might need to slow it down slightly to avoid another Kamikaze SD like that. It's rough, too, because the one thing for Beast Mode Paul is that if he uses Bounce, even if Bounce is not that big in this matchup, because of the way that uh, Joker's um, bullet time works, I'm sorry, take aim works, because it's more physical damage than actual projectile, it's just the, it's the fact that he's removing bounce from the deck and he gets to shuffle for a better card. But unfortunately, Kamikaze came out here and Sharp is just all up in this aggression here. 109 on Beast Mode Paul. Sharp is taking that Kamikaze all the way to the bank, bro. He's cashing it in for the unemployment check at this point. But Paul's forced to use the up B there. The mana starting to dwindle down a little bit. Sharp dragging Paul again. He doesn't have enough mana to get back up top. Oh, he just barely had enough. But it doesn't matter. Sharp manages to close in if the up tilt put uh, Beast Mode Paul on his last stock. Yeah, Sharp definitely took this full tilt and took advantage of it, but as well as like the fact that Beast Mode Paul really lost that stock a bit too early with the Kamikaze. Yeah. Nice boom. Got the Accelerado. Let's see how he decides to use it. Oh. Sharp is fending him off. Nice grab. Oh, oh, he tried to close it out there, that big ass match, but oh, yeah, man, starting frames in time. <laughs> no, I like that from Sharp. He wanted to see how Beast Mode Paul was going to move that shield around. He did not want to come in fully unless Beast Mode Paul was going to be there as well. So it was good for him to just kind of run around and look for Beast Mode Paul in that situation. Nice grab by Sharp. The up air is going to do it. Yep. And that's 1-1 one, one for, for Beast Mode, Paul, and Sharp. Now, Sharp puts Game 2 in his belt. That's big here, putting up a Game 3 scenario in Sharp's favor almost. Because uh, he's got a lot of momentum riding on here, and Beast Mode, Paul's got a little bit of catching up to do here in terms of stage choices. But we'll see how it goes, man, because Beast Mode, Paul definitely plays like a beast. Yes, uh, that is true. A higher percent. Hero is more likely to get the Thwack kill. And if you're off stage, Hero is more likely to get Zoom as well. I think if you're playing against projectiles, Balance has a slight multiplier to also appear as well. But also remember, you, when you're playing Hero, you want the better cards to come out from your deck. So even if you're using things like Balance in a matchup where Balance is not useful, it's good to just get it out of the rotation and get it something better in the rotation. Alright, we're going to Kalos for game three. That means players are going to have a lot more space. Oh, Bounce has no multiplayer. Okay, cool. Well, Joker doesn't have a reflect. Well, yes. Uh, when Arsene, 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 there, Arsene is the reflector. But the thing is, take aim for Joker is considered, is programmed as physical damage. The only thing that's a projectile is Aha and Aegon. So take aim cannot be reflected by bounce. I will say that one of the adjustments that Sharp has made so far is he's made oh, so that whenever... Oh, no. Oh, bad, yeah. Went, went out deep there to secure that kill. 
all here for the whack to try to equalize things, but Sharp was way too cunning for it. Yeah, at this point, whack could definitely do some damage here, but Oof. the thing is getting Sharp to fall into it. And there's a lot of setup that you can go for that on whack, but Beast Mode Paul hasn't found any situation here. So Sharp has so much control at this point. That's going to be a forward tilt. I like that play there because he's looking for the recovery there after the, after the missed tack. Yeah, those F tilts just coming in clutch right now for Sharp. Nice follow through with the up air. Paul just can't seem to get any of his landing aerials to work too. And every time he whiffs or just hits shield, it's sort of like open season for Sharp to charge in. And of course, here's our Sen now, again on the fir first stock. Oh, maybe uh, forward throw, not quite. Paul looking to get the kill here with the tornado, but Sharp's able to escape with the up B. Oh, big up smash, and that's gonna do it. And Sharp, man, he's running away with this game three. What a yeah, re-grab, so too. Much. Yeah. He, oh, had a, he had a positioning there, which was really rough because he missed that second up air. Yeah. So if, he, if he'd gotten it, he would have never lost that stock there. But we'll see, man, because look at how he's immediately coming back with all this aggression. Beast mode, Paul. Can't even get the starting frames of that move. Yeah. You can just tell Sharp is just knows. Like, I have to smother him with everything in Joker's toolkit as now and just take this game three. Yeah, Beast mode, Paul tried to start a fire, and Naito would put it out immediately. He's the fire extinguisher right now. Big back here, jab block. Oh, he tried to get the roll in, the tech roll read. Big jab, pushing beast mode, but beast mode was able to just get up, attack his way back to reset. Oh, he snuck oh, out the no. magic burst. <laughs> and that is the here. rough thing about magic burst too. You can, it can actually be stopped and you'll still pay the mana cost for it, man, sharp. That's the thing too. It's like he knows. Like I have so much control here. I have to really use it to smother, like Beast Mode Paul as much as possible before I even get him a chance to pull out any card in the deck to try to get something off that. That's what kind of slows down Hero too. Is like he can be smothered. He doesn't have good landing options, and I've said that before. So when you put that in the package of Joker, who's just excellent at with speed speed combo combo potential and just damage at times and arsene it gives a character like hero a bit of a run for the money hero has to work pretty hard for this one but we'll see if beast mode paul has any characters in the toolkit to see who's going to pull out or maybe a character switch i i have a feeling we're still going to see the hero come out but I do too, yeah, man. But you know what? You know, you never know, man. When the chips are down and your opponent's literally at set point, uh, you might go for a different character. And I'm you telling were right, you, Vance. yeah, dude, the chips are down. If your opponent's at set point, man. You might have another character that you've been working on that can help you out for a matchup. Sephiroth might be the play here for Beast Mode Paul. And I thought there's a bit of like crossover between Hero and, and Sephiroth too, in terms of like being a high set play character, but. Let's just see how Beast Mode Paul fares off the RNG of the menu. Yeah. In my opinion, Hero requires a, a very, very strong neutral, complemented by the ability to understand all, basically all the cards in his deck, so yeah. just put it in easy terms. For Sephiroth, he really rewards immaculate spacing and your ability to force opponents into situations where you can hit him with some of the strongest moves. Sharp right now is showing signs of like very little struggle with Beast Mode Paul's options. Again, a product of having play, put a lot of time in a Sephiroth himself. Nice down air though from Beast Mode Paul. I like it when the Sephiroths just do the raw down air. <laughs> yeah, the the Hell's Gate, as it's as it's formerly known as. Ooh, big back air punishing Sharp for being a little aggressive with the edge guard and guns. Uh oh, oh, and that is a clinical whiff punished by Sharp getting down air to bear. Ugh. Paul right now. 
trying to find his way back into this game. That's a forward air? Yeah, right before the stunning yeah. frames for Beast Mode Paul. And that's a great way for just Nido Sharp to just immediately look, look, get off the stage, see how Beast Mode Paul is going to get back on, and you know he can look for a punish afterwards. Yeah, neutral air to call it the forward air. Forward air has just such a thin hitbox because you have to be really precise with it. That's why you yeah. you do see forward air being spaced really well. No, he's oh. just shy off the range. And Sharp had a masterful play there just to go for Rebel's guard immediately to get, gain some meter. All right. Look, his... look how cool, calm, and collected Sharp is and just mitigating everything Paul wants right now. Yep. Down tilt, just immediately. Like, no panic in the scrum of being stuck off stage that long. Look at that, just... If you guys have been like following along with all the VODs, if you're watching on YouTube or and just watching here on Twitch chat, if if I'm saying that Belmont is the most honest Joker, then by hindsight, Sephiroth is the the most weirdest zoner. He's the most he's the most non-zoner zoner because of his sword range. And that sword range that he has, Kim is pretty much in in a sense like Belmont for it. So you have to really oh, no. you have to look at it that way. Where Joker can just zone break so well because of his speed and combos, Beast Mode Paul has to really watch out the second that Joker gets anywhere near that space. Again, man, right now, Sharp is putting on a ledge trapping clinic. Whenever Paul is just stuck off stage, he's eating so much more damage than you'd like to be, or like if you're Paul in the situation. Able to get back to the stage, the Octo Slash, uh, unable to avoid the grab. Sharp going out deep. Ooh, I thought he was gonna do a rising bear there, trying to close up the stock. Like right now, even Beast Mode Paul with the one wing angel, it just doesn't seem as remotely as threatening to Sharp's position. Yeah, I, like I said, it's the, the second Sharp gets anywhere closer to Sephiroth, Sephiroth rewards your spacing to be as good as you can, the best it can be. If it's not that good and Sharp is close to you and you're not getting your spacing, that's a call out too. Because if Beast Mode Paul wanted to go anywhere, he was going to have to either jump out of shield or possibly face a shield break. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Sharp was gonna die regardless, and Paul was like, "I'll just assist you with that." Yeah. <laughs> Big Doctor Slash kill. But look, look at this Sharp like lead though here, one twelve. I mean, again, we'll see though. I mean, the one wing angel is a comeback mechanic. Might provide Beast Mode Paul with enough power to send this to a game five. Uh oh. Oh, managed to avoid the fallout from Adon there. On the time, the, basically the damage over time with Aga. Look at that, 132, the back air to stop the landing. And Sharp takes it 3-1 over Beast Mode Paul in winner's finals. Like I said, pretty much for Joker, he can just effectively zone break in that zone that Sephiroth looks to have that advantage. And then he can't establish advantage, and then Joker wins. Like I said, it, it's, it's kind of crazy when you think about it that way. Like, if Belmont is the most quote-unquote honest zoner, then... Sephiroth is the is the most non-zoner zoner because of the range that yeah. he has to work with. Wow.